we should be way more mature than that, speculation over Blackburn's pay detracting from World Cup. Reports surfaced on the UK media over incentives for the Red Roses by the RFU that will pay NCD $30,000 over player for a World Cup victory while their New Zealand counterparts won't receive a World Cup bonus. But the chief executive Rob Nicka responded by claiming the Blackburn salaries were the best in the world even factoring in England's bonus scheme. The breakdown pundits said the focus on contracts while the World Cup is in progress has detracted from the spectacle over the first two weekends of competition. I'll just say this, it's disappointing for me, and I understand that World Rugby had clear reasons why they are playing all the games on the weekend at single venues, three on each day, but what happens is there is five days of discussion, in between, Wilson said. We've been sidetracked by talking about who is going to get what if they win rather than talking about the fact there are games going on. We should be talking about the rugby, talk about that stuff afterwards. I understand why people want to talk about it because we are trying to highlight everything in the game. I don't care about anything on the money side of it, all I care about is the teams and who is playing and who is on track. Former All Black great Kerwan said that everyone should be more mature and understand that the nature of professional sport means different financial rewards will always be the case. What you need to realize right now is that the women's game is still in the investment phase, Kerwan explained to the breakdown panel. So that's why they are playing it on the weekends, it will be about cost. I get that. But I don't understand why we are talking about the salaries and who is getting this and who is going to win that, financially, it's a professional sport. We should be way more mature than that. Whatever someone gets paid is irrelevant. I read an article where they put the wages out, were they true or false? Guest panelist Black Ferns midfielder Chelsea Semple was in a unique position to comment on the matter. Still under a contract with New Zealand Rugby, she disputed the figures reported and claimed the reports were way off with the numbers they were suggesting. This whole thing came out midweek was a real shame and I hope the girls aren't talking about it in camp because they have bigger things to focus on, Sample said. That article that did come out, for me someone who is contracted, it wasn't right, it was incorrect. The numbers weren't correct, they were way off. It was frustrating. All of that chat is just creating rumors and it's taking away from this amazing spectacle right now which is the rugby world.